Welcome to my channel Car Guide UK. This is where you have to get up and fix it. Please subscribe and remember to click the bell if you want more videos like this. Okay guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on with the Audi project. So as you can see here, we've decided to paint up uh, all the pieces that we've taken off. So we took off the turbo, which is just here. Uh, sizes wise, I wanna go through some of the sizes for you guys, just so you know. So I've got some of the sizes just down here, but I'm gonna just grab, so we've got that's all cleaned and painted up. We've done all, these took ages to do these ones because they were all rusted but i've taken all the rust off cleaned them up don't need to get new ones of those uh they should be fine so i don't know what this one's called because it says it's um a v10 so that's a v10 this is to take off these nuts on here so these are the ones that hold the exhaust manifold on so that fits lovely in there and that's for holding that on so i still have to do that still haven't finished putting all that together these are 10 mil so if you wanted to know these are the 10 mil nuts which are what hold the catalytic converter onto it in place so that's that one there uh, what else have we got so the ones that are holding on the um the ac pump here so there's one bolt there there's one bolt here and then there's another bolt there they are just uh 10 mil so they're just 10 mil nuts that are holding those on also the bracket here which holds on um this section here so this section here is the tensioner so the tensioner has all been cleaned up and painted uh that's a 10 mil there there's also another 10 mil here I don't know if you can see it there and then uh, I think the other 10 mils hidden underneath but there is another one so there's three oh just down there see uh, just there so three 10 mil nuts holding that on then there is um, one two three holding on the AC pump then on this one you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine bolts holding on the, um, the exhaust manifold which has got the turbo built into it so as you can see there, that's got the turbo. And we just started piecing everything back together. I'll just show you this way. So the car's there. We've been trying to get the chassis legs as straight as we can. Um, I can't, I've got them over really well. Um, but you you really kind of need to get this on a jig. Uh, what I can't do is get this chassis leg up. As you can see, the chassis leg is, is pointing downwards i need it to go up i need to rise and um, raise it up but i can't do that um not here because i've got nothing to do it i have had a go at straightening all this out so this has all been straightened out into position where it needs to go um the other leg i've pulled as well so the other leg's fine i've also had a go at getting all this out all this was kinked up so all that's been taken out which was housed or hidden by the uh the main fuse box there as you can see inside the car underneath where we had that kink that's now out so that's fine um this is just loads of dirt on there so we now have an almost straight hull we still need to go over a little bit more um but we're going to see if we can do it if we can do it if we can get it over we can carry on um if we can't do it then we're going to have to use this donor car that i've got so we've got the blue Audi here. So if we can't do it we're going to have to put it into the blue one so everything from this Audi We'll have to go into this Audi. So we'll see how we get on. We'll see if we can repair it still. If not, then we'll just have to swap everything over. We're still going with the color change. Don't worry, guys. Uh, I just want to just show you this side as well. So um, is there anything else that we need to talk about? So getting these off here, if you're taking this out, so I had to take this pipe out here. That's just a push fit pipe. It's held in by this side here, as you can see. Um, and that is held onto the side of the block there by some star pieces as well. well. We'll go grab the star pieces and we'll just test and see what sizes these are so we'll be back in one sec so guys just coming back onto this just to show you so this water housing here that's held on there if you are going to undo that there are four bolts holding that on so there's one here there's also one there just down there uh, sorry about the um, shot it's not very great there's one just there just in there just there and then there's also another one uh, that's just down there as you can see there that's a t30 so you need a t30 star piece for that that's what gets those off so there you go just so you know if you want to take off these ones here guys they're just um you can just use a pair of pliers anything like that just crimp these together and these come off they come off like quite easily let's just test the top here if you want to get these out these are the um I don't know what we're called now but these are the ones they're holding housing the spark plugs we probably will replace those so 
the coil packs, there you go, sorry, I was just having a moment. So the, coil, the four coil packs just lift out. So you want to prise those up with something, probably a trim tool. Uh, just be careful not to break them. There's four of those. So one, two, three, four of those. So that's what holds that on. Let me just quickly pop this down and test these. So yeah, this one here, which are the ones on the side of the turbo there and the side of the turbo here. Uh, these ones are a T25. So they're a T25, which hold that one, that one. This T25 pretty much probably does most of these. That's a bit bigger. That's a bit bigger at the top there. So let's just ch check at the top here. So that's a T30. So T30 and T25 seem to be most of the ones that you would need uh, if you're doing this. So that's a T30 again. That's T30. Uh, that one's also T30 again as well there. Right, so as you can see, I'll just show you some other things that I've done. I need to fit the um, the uh, the alternator back on, so I'll do that in a moment. That'll just pop that back on. We still need to do up all these to get that on. We've done, we've gone with new uh, exhaust gaskets there, as you can see, the new exhaust gaskets are just been put on there. We've got a new um, a gasket for this one too, so for the turbo. Uh, if you see inside here, I'm not too sure if you'll be able to see, the way you can tell if your turbo's okay which you can't really see in the hole it's not great is there's a little rotor in there if that rotor is all damaged up then that's usually a good sign that your turbo is on the way out so just having a look up at the top here as well uh, this is the carbon bit we did for um, the oil we also just took this we took this off and then as you can see here if we just pop that out of the way for a second this just comes off and then you can go clean that up so just gave that a good scrub in the sink Got that nice and clean. Um, so, and then we'll just pop that back on. So that's all now clean. So uh, just trying to save you money, guys. You know, most of these things on these projects, you don't really have to replace them. Uh, if you know what I mean, you can just go ahead and just clean most of it up. As you see here with the engine, I've just gone over it and cleaned it all up with um, like a red scotch bright. I didn't prime it, just went straight on with the color, uh, masked up all the areas that I had. Uh, I will show you the colors that were used. So very high temperature here. We use that one there. So that's just a Halford's high temperature. That's a um, aluminum, which is like a silvery color. And then on this one, um, the darker color, that's um, metallic black, but it comes out gray. So as you can see there, that's not metallic black, is it? That's like a gunmetal gray. So that looks really nice. Um, I hope you enjoyed this bit, guys, because I'm just trying to show you how everything goes on, what sort of sizes ne are needed. If there's any sizes uh, that you want to know something is before you go and do it, ask me now because I can always put it in the comment section uh, as you know before you go and undo it again. Here again, we've got another 10 mil to take that off. Um, another T30 in there again. And as you can see, we've just cleaned up these. We haven't gone over with any paint where the belt will land. We've just kind of cleaned up and just painted up um, just the bits that were rusty. So we've got this all nice and clean. And then, as I said, we'll just quickly go fit this on now. As you can see there, that's pretty much what most of this engine looked like, all that rust there. So we're going to go clean this up. Well, we're going to go put it on because it's all been cleaned up. We're not going to worry about that bit, to be fair. Um, and then we're just going to pop this on and then we'll see what that looks like on and then tighten everything else up that we need to. So... Let's do it. So there you go guys, the uh, alternator is now on, as you can see there. So all it was is 13 mil there, a 13 mil on here, and then it sits through. A big bolt goes through there, so it goes all the way through there, all the way through there, and then into back into there. So just held in by this cage here. So you can't really get this wrong. It's quite an easy thing to do once the engine's out. I don't know how hard it would possibly be 
to do when it's in but at least this guide uh, shows you where they go so so you know what you're looking for once you're doing it so there you go so there you go that's a 13 mil there and a 13 millimeter there so there's only two of those holding this whole thing on so we're getting there guys the next thing we need to pop on is going to be um all this little stuff up here once we get all these put on then we get them all into place we can then put the catalytic converter on but join me in the next video for that guys please like share subscribe and i'll see you on the next progress update thanks for watching see you real soon take care now bye bye